All right, you guys. Let's talk about our. Let's talk about wrapping up our uh, our seafood stuff. So um, your so remember half of your score is just doing doing the um, doing your um, you know collecting the data itself, entering the data. Uh, the second part is to do some type of write up, right? For the opinion poll, we worked on the poster, etc. Um, what you're going to do for this time is work on your own poster. So you guys are going to do a poster. That's your that's your assignment for this. And so, um, uh, 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 really, um, primarily two questions, and then if you if you want to get on to pass judgment, that's great. But these first two questions are the key thing, right? You might you might run out of space. You might not be able to answer all these questions, but you should be able to um, talk about how much seafood is being eaten and how sustainable it seems to be, right? So at the bottom here, I have the template. You can download the, the PowerPoint um, file. So it's all the right size and everything, and, and, and you can uh, start to fill that sucker out. Yep, 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 yep. So it's just as, it's just as if you were going to be, we won't print it, but it's just as if you were going to go, you know, give this to a, if we, if we were doing this, uh, print them up and put them around the class for, you know, a final exam or for an outside speaker or something like that, right? Um, okay. So those are the questions. The question is basically how much are we eating and how sustainable is it? Now that how much um, is going to come from our opinion polls, right? Because as we ask people how, how in the last week on average, how much seafood did they eat? So we have, we have those estimates. And then for the how sustainable um, it is, right? You guys all have, so we'll, we'll have some shared data, which I'll share in a second. But also importantly, you all have all of your own experiences of the last couple of weeks of going into stores and talking to people and looking at looking at packages and all that. So all of that stuff is is potential potentially usable, right? So our our combined data now because because people are still giving me their data, I haven't had time to clean up this year's data. So I'm giving you an a, a previous year's data set, right? So um, uh, you know. Just go with it, right? So the data is not from this year, but your experiences are from this year. So, so we'll just we'll just pretend that all this is from the same year, okay? So don't 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 worry about explaining. Well, this stuff was from years ago, and I, I want to talk about this year. Just just assume it's all from one year for your write-up, right? So so you won't be penalized. So use the data to answer the questions, but you're you're welcome to add in anecdotes or representative examples that you uh, encountered in. In, you know, doing your polling, doing your, your seafood surveys, et cetera. Okay, where am I going to find the data? Um, on the next page. So the opinion poll data is just our opinion poll data. So that's, that's you know, it's just a link to that, but that's our, that's our same stuff you guys uh, became intimately familiar with. Um, and then this is the uh, seafood data from a previous year, right? This, this stuff is from 2007, but but you'll, the format will look very similar. Now, there aren't things about COVID here because we, you know, weren't, oops, excuse me. I want to be jumping over to here. Um, so, so there aren't things about, uh, you know, we've added some things over the years. So there is, aren't questions about COVID. There aren't questions about proxy, Prop 65, et cetera. But the other stuff is, and it's all standardized. So, um, so again, this is the location of the, the, the place, uh, the, 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 um, city and county where it was uh, located, etc. The species of tuna or the species of fish. And in this case, I have gone through and made everything, everything correct in terms of uh, the species to the best of our uh, knowledge. And so um, uh, all these things are accurate. Obviously, with some, we know them down to species. Others, we we're not sure um, what uh, what species it is. Um, all these guys are just like in our public opinion poll. If it was a tick, right, it's a zero or a one or what have you. And we have the price per pound, et cetera. We, and this is a standardized, this fishery location has been standardized. So the, the terminology is all the same. So and what you guys have given me, sometimes it's, it's, it's America, sometimes it's lowercase u, lowercase s, lowercase a, sometimes it's capital U. This is all, this is all standardized. Um, so you can have a look at that. But then have a look over here. So as we scroll over to the right, um, we have a standardized um, price per pound. So everything has a price per pound, right? At least, at least for the stuff in the markets. 
Um, and so that's a standard price. So you can compare apples to apples. Then we have some assessments right here. So this is the, how sustainable is it, right? And so uh, uh, was it MSC or not? Um, but then if it was Seafood Watch, um, right? Was this a best buy or was this an, uh, an uh, you know, yellow or was it an avoid, whatever? And so because sometimes it just says salmon and because sometimes Seafood Watch says some salmon is green, some salmon is red, right? So there's, there's possible answers here. So one is the most optimistic answer. What's the best possible answer? You know, so if it was re re green to red, you'd say, oh, green. And then this one is the most, you know, the most precautionary approach that if there was any of that, any of the salmon category was red in the seafood watch, we call it red, right? So you can choose whether you want a liberal definition or a conservative definition, it's up to you. And then this is the estimated distance that seafood traveled to get to us here in, um, you know, in, in, in our, you know, here in Ventura County or Santa Barbara, wherever the case may be. So this is how far it came, we estimate. This is how much energy was embodied. But then if you scroll over here, uh, da, 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 da. okay, over here, um, the total, these are all the component, these are all the component calculations. This is the total CO2 emitted um, uh, uh, for that uh, item to get here in grams. Um, and, uh, and then we have also Volta Organics and Knox, et cetera. But, but uh, uh, CO2 is one of those things you can look at. What are the carbon emissions associated with this, with this option? Uh, and obviously for, for the carbon emissions, only for the things that had a location. If it was an unknown fish from the ocean, there's no way to estimate the carbon emissions, right? So, so this is for things that have at least some ge geographic distinction and at least, you know, so we can, we can then make some at least general assumptions. I'm happy to talk about those assumptions, but basically we have that for the markets and for the restaurants. And again, uh, the, the stuff here um, in the qualitative is the raw stuff that you guys would, are typing in. But if you scroll over to the right, there's coded answers. So everything here has been scored in a standardized format. So you can, you can, you know, average these things and you can, and down here at the bottom are the average scores. So how many people, uh, you know, had heard about sustainable seafood, et cetera. So that's the, that's your data set that you can use for this poster, right? Um, and then, so one is our public opinion poll, which you already, that, yeah, that should be very familiar to you. This is this other one. And, um, and so uh, those, those are the, the, that's the fodder with which you have to, to pull stuff together. Once you get your poster together, it's due next Monday at noon. Um, upload your, your poster by Monday at noon. Um, you are uh, welcome to upload a, a PowerPoint, um, but you can also, simplest thing is probably just to save it as a PDF and upload a PDF, but, but I'm allowing, allowing either format to, uh, to, to go in there. Um, I'll just note sometimes, I mean, I don't think you guys can be putting a lot of high resolution pictures in there, but um, sometimes Canvas gets a little weird if there's some super massive, insanely large mega file that you upload. So if you encounter some weird problem, just try saving it as a PDF and see if that solves the problem. If not, just poke me on Slack and say, hey, doctor, I'm having a problem uploading my, 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 my um, file. Cool? Does that make sense? Uh, so can somebody just go on there and just make sure you guys can click on and download that PowerPoint template just so I know that everything was uploaded correctly? Okay, okay, great. And then can you guys just click on each of those links and make sure they're real links and they take you to real stuff? Okay. Great, so that, that is our, that's our assignment.